Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell from the title of the thumbnail, um, I have COVID. I'm six months pregnant, well just over, I think it's six months or one week. Just going to basically just track how I am, um, see if there's anything new that comes up, anything with the baby, um, anything like that. This, If you're watching this, do not take anything that I'm doing, saying nothing as medical advice. I'm not professional. If you are any concerned at all, obviously speak to your doctor. Don't take advice from me. Anyway, now I've got that out of the way. So, just a bit of background really on what's happened. So, Luke, Luke tested positive on, I can't remember what day it was. Luke tested positive about four days ago, four or five days ago. It'll be five days ago now. Because I'm double jabbed, he is also double jabbed. Um, I was told to carry on, I still had to go to work. I had to carry on my normal like activities. Between those five days, I only went to work once because I had my two days off the start of the week um so anyway i carried on as normal obviously made sure i wore a mask and i to be fair i told everybody that i was around when i was at work and if I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you all these days rolled into one so i'm not gonna say said days um i started feeling like so my chest started hurting so it started burning a little bit um i think it was was it the tuesday night or wednesday night I uh, can't remember what day. It started burning, um, it was, and I was due to go back to work the following day. I did, um, I think it was two lateral flow tests that day, both negative. I then did, I then woke up, so I woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning because I did quite early shifts. I just didn't feel great, like, I didn't feel like I had COVID, but I didn't feel great, I didn't understand it. And I still did another lateral flow test, again, negative. I just, I couldn't understand how I'd caught cold from somebody else but not caught COVID from somebody who I live with. See, me and Luke have been living like normal because before we knew he had it, he was a little bit poorly. Um, not like we thought he was basically a little cat um, that he had COVID. So he was living like normally. So the damage was already done. I, I just followed my gut. I just, I felt like I, I didn't want to go into work because obviously it's not just myself I'm putting in danger as other people. So I told work I wasn't going in and booked in a PCR test. I did four? So four lateral flow tests that day, every single one of them negative, not even a tiny fate line. Bear in mind Luke was showing up positive on all of them. Um, so I was, honestly, I, I was so confused. I was like, how can I catch a cold off some random, but I, can't, I, don't, I don't catch COVID from my own boyfriend? Not that I wanted it, obviously, not that I wanted it. But I just wanted to make sure that I was doing the right thing and not putting anybody else in danger. Because obviously, yeah, I'm double jabbed, but there's people out there who's not. Um, booked my test for that morning. Um, I was literally tested negative right up until that night, so about half eleven we went to bed at night, still negative, woke up the following morning, which was today, um, uh, with a, an email saying that I was positive, and now the symptoms have all hit me today. I started to, my chest started hurting, um, I started to feel like I was getting a chest infection rather than like a cold. Um, last night, just before we went to bed, this is another thing why I baffled us because obviously we hadn't had my results back then. I was taking some medication which normally tastes absolutely vile. Couldn't taste it. Although it was so strange, it's like you can taste it, but you can't taste it. It's like you expect the taste, but you can't. It's anyway, it's really strange. I could smell, but not great. <coughs> <coughs> obviously, I've got cough. Um, my sinuses are completely locked. I feel a bit crappy. Um, I, my temperature's been up and down. I'm tired, so I've had a nap. Um, but yeah, so all in all, it's not really affected my day to day activity. So I got up this morning knowing that's positive. Um, I just went downstairs, had some breakfast. I did some housework. So I cleaned all downstairs, cleaned all the kitchen, hoovered and whatnot. And then did a, an online shop because we can't go shopping. I'm going to track here for other week. Um, I'm probably not going to do it every day because 10 days I got to isolate. Um, although it won't be 10 days now, will it? Because of my symptoms a few days ago. Generally feeling alright on myself. Luke's. Luke was starting to get better this morning. Like, you. You couldn't really tell in him that he was he had a cold, but he's just said before I come to uh, talk to you guys that um, he starts to feel a bit worse. Um, but his cough's kind of clearing up. My my main thing is my cough uh, that hit me first, which I was quite shocked it didn't hit him first because he's got asthma. But again, I'm just I'm thankful that I was given the opportunity to take both my vaccines. Um, I was thankful that I had both my vaccines. Both of us have. Um, it probably could have ended a lot worse if we didn't. 
again i'm not on i'm not jumping on that train vaccine no vaccine do what you want your business not my life me personally i had the vaccine but yeah i'm just sitting here drinking my honey and lemon tea i don't know why we call it a tea because it's not got tea bag in it but yeah that is that is it from me today from my day two day three jesus baby brain is on the rise day three symptoms from today so that's how i'm feeling on day three um and i will update you guys the rest of the week stay safe again don't take anything that i'm saying as like doctor certified or anything like that because i ain't got a clue what i'm doing with my life um but yeah love you guys and see you later good morning guys it is the next day and well the next morning i've just literally just woke up as you can tell um oh hi brian I have got my honey and lemon tea with me this morning. Stop, stop battering the camera. And I'm just about to have some blueberries and an apple. Um, in terms of how I'm feeling, so last night I woke up quite a few times just to go to the toilet as per usual. Um, and I had like the worst eye headache, as I call it. Like I wasn't a headache, but it's like behind this eye. It really, really hurt. Um, but as I woke up, it, it was kind of gone. But now, behind both of my eyes, I've really started to ache. Please don't lick my apple. No. Um, but now, like, behind both my eyes, I'm really starting to ache. And are really hurting. I'm just bunged up. It's, like, the first half an hour. So, like, we, we laid in bed this morning, um, just talking. I felt really rough. But now, as I've started to get up and get moving, I'm feeling all right. I say I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling rough, but I'm feeling better. So as the day goes on, you start to feel a lot better. Like, my cough is already started to go. And it's only, like, day... Technically, this will be day four. But day two of actually knowing I've got COVID. Um, so my cough's already started to go, which is really good. Yeah, it's just... So far, it's literally just your normal cough, cold symptoms, really. My back hurts, but again, I think that's just due to pregnancy. Luke is currently still in bed. I think he's just playing on his game in bed, to be fair. He should be coming down shortly. Um, I don't know how he felt. I asked him how he felt this morning. He said he felt all right. But you don't really know until you probably wake up how you feel. But yes, I'm going to eat my apple, my blueberries, drink my drink, and I'll update you guys a bit later. Bye. Yeah. So, it's a bit later on in the day, a lot later on. It's like 10 o'clock, half nine at night. How are you feeling? You've had quite a rough day, haven't you, compared to me? Yeah, I thought I was over it. Kind of hit you again, hasn't it? Yeah. It's got this weird smell. <laughs> it made me be sick earlier. Oh. Yeah, uh, why is it? Yeah. yeah, you were sick earlier, weren't you? Yeah. And, like, every time I looked at him, he's been like... This just stinks. It smells of, like frying onions. But that's not. That's just your sense of smell. Yeah, it's no, not actually it's what weird smells and like. like. I can taste some stuff and not other stuff. Yeah, I had a nap earlier as well, didn't you? Which yeah. isn't really like you. So, but we thought you were. Uh, well, I was just telling these guys this morning that you're practically all right now. Well, I was, yeah. And I used to. Everything else is gone. And I took. So I get a headache all the time. Yeah, I had a really bad eye headache this morning. But I've been pretty much fine. I feel like once I stop, that's when I start to feel a bit crap. But if I'm like cleaning or doing the washing or cooking, I'm generally fine. I've had like a million honey and lemon teas today. You've had some lemon sips, haven't you? No. Hopefully you feel a bit better tomorrow because you can, you can tell where you look. You're not looking great. No, I just feel a bit sick. Yeah. I wonder why you were sick earlier. No. Well, it's the smell. Which is just everything smell like onions. No. Well, what is it's it? Like I can smell stuff, but there's a constant smell of onion. That's so weird. But That's it's like right up in my nose. You've you tried blowing your nose, haven't you? Mm. You've tried lemon sips and stuff to try and get rid of it. Hopefully that's not a permanent thing. Could you imagine constantly smelling onions? That's well, I read on smell. Google, someone smelled... Bad smells for about a year after they had them. <laughs> Imagine that's all you can smell is just bad smells. But the thing is, you like onions, like you mm. really like onions, so why is it bad? Just 
weird. Hmm. Well, that's it from us, from what I'm on. What day are you on now? Five, six. No, you're on day seven. You're on day right, eight. Mon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. In terms of like, having symptoms, you started last Friday, didn't you? Right, yeah. Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Like very early symptoms, to the point where we thought he was allergic to the cat. More than COVID. <sighs> but yeah, that's it from us this evening. We're we're doing all right, aren't we? We're not. Yeah. Well, that's not the end of the world. We're doing fine. Um, but. It's just tiring doing nothing. <laughs> what do you mean it's tiring doing nothing? It's tiring doing nothing. I'm bored. Hmm. I'm bored of being bored and having nothing to do. But we'll catch you up either tomorrow or in the next few days. Hopefully, it's weird. It comes in wait like you said the other day. It comes in waves. One minute you'll be absolutely fine. The next minute you just feel like crap, and then you'll be fine again. <laughs> but yeah, we'll update you in the week. See you in a bit. Bye. Get your phone out of the camera. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, we are on. Well, I'm not. Uh, no, I am. He's not. I'm on day five of symptoms. Hi, You're on hi. day. Yeah. I started showing the symptoms. What on the. Yeah, five, day five. You're on day... <coughs> Nine? Cough right in my face. <laughs> That's yeah. how I got COVID. Yeah. Um, Luke, Luke's just struggling with life, really, aren't I he? can't smell very well. He's literally like, he's offending me. Everything... It smells awful. The first thing that he did when we woke up this morning was start smelling me. Because he could just smell weird smells. Um, now I'm cooking us a nice pork Sunday dinner. And it comes up, that smells. Stinks. It's just so, it's just your nose. I'm at that point where my um, <clears throat> sinus is obviously quite blocked, so I still can't smell or taste anything. So it seems pretty pointless cooking this in the dinner. It's gonna taste vile to you, and I'm not gonna taste anything, yeah, so I should have just chucked a bloody pizza in the oven for us. Yeah. But yeah, it's cooking well, and um, in terms of symptoms today, I just. Look at you. <laughs> <Ball>. <laughs> in terms of symptoms today, I am just bunger. It's, it's more like the first half an hour that I just feel like absolute crap when I wake up in the morning, and then I feel alright. It's just bunger. My cough only is in the morning, and then that disappears. Um, can't smell anything, can't taste anything. Baby's kicking away. Uh, I would say as normal, but if anything, she's kicking away more. I think it's probably because I'm actually monitoring her a lot more. But yeah, no, everything's going alright, no dramas. Um, I'll update you once dinner's ready. Sorry, the kettle's boiling in the background. I'll update you once dinner's ready, see if you of us can taste anything. So this is what I've managed to cook up for us. Does it just taste like onions? No. Does it actually taste okay? It smells actually... like onions. Really? Oh, yeah. I could not smell a thing, and I know I'm not going to be able to taste a thing. But does it taste alright, or mm -hmm. does it still taste nothing? Yeah, it tastes good. I'm just going to go enjoy the meal. Hey, no. Echo. hey guys, so Luke's having a bit of a mental breakdown because his barber's again doesn't have a slot to cut his hair. How long has it been now? Too long. Is it like a month and a half? More than that. Two months. Two months. Look at it. Two and a half months. Just look at that hair. It gets like. It goes all poofy here, poofy. like pubes. Um, it's really thin and horrible now. Oh. Well. What a day. What a day. What a day. Hey. Oh yeah. What, what a day. day. <laughs> I am actually feeling okay. Okay. Okay, how are you feeling? Back to normal, really. Yeah. For the past two three days i think do you know what i think we've been really really lucky i j i do believe i don't care if you want to jump on the bandwagon with the whole vaccine no vaccine thing but i do believe it's because we had our vaccines and i just i'm very grateful that we have been given the opportunity to take our vaccines and that we did yeah because yeah, we, we've literally just reacted to it like a cold haven't we it's felt like a cold yeah not even like a bad cold either no the only thing that i would say is my taste still isn't back um, I put something up on Instagram asking you guys like, how long it took for your taste to come back and you all said a week and then I had like two others say like three months and then I had another one say uh, a few weeks so I'm just over am I a week now? I'm a week today 
Yeah. A week today without taste, and it's making me a bit sad. But it's a small price to pay when there's other people out there suffering a lot worse than what we are. Oh, mine's back fine. I can smell, taste. I know he's stopped sniffing me in the morning, saying I smell like onions. Yeah. Back to work tomorrow. Yep. And I've got two more days of isolation on my own, and I ah that hurt. That's <laughs> Um, I'm actually really sad that I'm gonna have to isolate on my own. Oh boy. Because I really appreciated this time we got to spend with each other. <laughs> Don't look too excited. Well, I had two days on my own. Not really, because I, was I wasn't at work. Oh, yeah, too. So they were just my days off. Yeah, but I like being on my own. Yeah, you do. I don't. Well, I do when I don't. But yeah, overall, I think that is it from us. There's been no dramas, thank God. Baby is still fine. We've got an appointment next week. We're fine. Just a cough and a cold, really. And that's it. That's that's our COVID journey, pretty yeah. much. But don't, we're... Don't, don't be scared. Well, yeah, we say don't be scared, obviously. Stay safe, all that jazz. But from our point of view, we're no longer... Well, not that was, but we're no longer anxious about COVID or anything like that. Um, yeah, just... Just be safe. Just Ten days of isolation is awful. Yeah. Well, no, I've really enjoyed it. Towards the end, I've actually really enjoyed it. When will we ever be given the opportunity to isolate ourselves from the world and it be okay? If we catch it again. We're not gonna, probably not going to catch it again, are we? We're bloody oh, vaccinated okay. and we've had it now. Can imagine. A nice 10 days off. And you were saying that you thought you was immune. I thought I was invincible. I should have had it about five times before now. Yeah. The only reason why I had bloody dig in it is probably because you cough in my face. Hey, if you look, watch I this stayed one. away from you. You did at the start, and then once you realised I got it, you just let let loose, mm. didn't you? Coughing in my face. <laughs> coughing in your face. Hey, if you were wearing this vlog, watch this vlog. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that is it from us. Obviously, I just I do want to be serious as well. There's people out there who have lost their lives to COVID and have had life changing things, and we appreciate that we have been lucky. We've just been lucky, haven't we? Yeah. Stop well, doing that. Well, <laughs> I've just been tired all the time. Did you? But not like tired to sleep. Just is it because you've not been doing just, anything? Yeah, though? Just, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting back to the real world, but then I'm also not. Um, we'll never get this opportunity again. So I just I appreciate having being able to spend time with you for a week. Who doesn't want to bloody up about it? Does he? Right, that is it from us. If you like this video, obviously you're not really going to like this video because it's COVID. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. And we will see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Look at my hair. Like Look this. at that chin. Look at my hair. Look like Einstein. You need a haircut. Bye. Oh.